destructive force truly necessary, Dr. Eckelberg? It's been so, so much fun um, to be working in a professional studio. Um, Joe, who is my producer, has been amazing. He's shown us a lot of tips, you know. It's been a, it's been a quick session. Really, really like understood what we wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, really like knew what the sound we wanted was straight away. I'm thinking about the vocal mm. I'm thinking of maybe making it like an effect. Like, it's like a subconscious thing. You know? yeah. Yours is quite sort of like telephony, radio, distance, yeah, yeah, something like brilliant. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or through that effect, um, megaphones. The one where it goes, yeah, I've always, always wanted, wanted to, to use that. that. I've said that with this song several times. Actually. Floor green doors where I used to stay staring out the window when it was a rainy day. Sing along, sing along, cause it ain't gonna be long till you'll be behind bars. Ten floor green doors where I used to stay staring out the window when it was a rainy day. I finally got my song Keeper's Arrow professionally recorded, which is so so good. So now I can put it on my MySpace, I can send it out to labels and radio stations, and it's just got a professional kind of feel and finish to it. We'll have like a really properly finished track, well produced, um, something to kind of show to people, just like a good demo to kind of get people kind of knowing what we can sound like. If you take the opportunities then there are people there that can really understand your music. It was an incredible thing to get involved with. Cool, do you want to just go for a take? <laughs>